Hello, and today with ASCOM support, we're going to show you how to put a group NPI on a claim, whether you're going to be sending it out electronically or put it on a paper claim. Some insurance companies or payers want to see the group NPI on the claim rather than the individual NPI. So to accomplish this, what we need to do first of all is make sure that the practice information has a correct NPI on it and that it is also set to group. So under the file tab, going down to practice information, open that up and make sure that the practice IDs that you have here are correct by double clicking on all it's going to show you that this group has the NPI right here and the tax identifier of this all that looks to be okay and then also we want to make sure also under practice information that this is set to group click the group and then save next thing you want to do is go to the provider that's assigned to the case in this case, we're going to be working with Dr. Mallard over here. Uh, Dr. Mallard, his provider IDs for individual are these right here, the nines and the eights. However, we want this to pull up the practice information in box 33 on the paper claim form, or which would also be sent over electronically. So we want to set this to group. So this will actually pull the practice information NPI rather than his individual. So we're going to go ahead, click OK here, and then save. So to test this out, we're going to go ahead and close the doctor now. We'll go over back to our claim form. And we'll grab this patient here, Mr. Dwight. We're going to reprint the claim using the primary 0212 form. Start and then right there we have the group NPI here whereas we have the individual NPI there. And that's exactly what we're trying to accomplish here. All right.